Hi, I'm Rosa. Thank you for joining me. Today I am going to show you my 2024 um, personal goals or resolutions as you may call them. And I've just gone over a few things that I really want to work on and I want to keep track of. And I know that writing it down gives me a better opportunity of doing that. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I have. This is my setup. This is my notebook, which has seen better days. I may need to find a new notebook, but for now it's working out. And these are additional items that I may use. So I did this last year for 2023. It worked out pretty good. I probably should have checked it a little more than I did. I might have stayed on track better had I done that, but that's what I'm going to work towards this year. So for 2024, I'm going to adjust this so you can see it a tad bit better. These are my personal goals or resolutions. And it's after the first of the year. It took me a few days to figure out what I want to work on this year. And I decided to divide it into several parts or sections. That way it's not just clumped into one big thing I need to work at. I'm, I'm trying to divide it down as much as possible so that I actually um, manage it and make it workable. So I decided to do health, home, spiritual, and hobbies. And for 24 in the health department, I want to make sure I eat more fruits and vegetables every day. Um, I, I don't get as many as I should as most of us don't, and I really want to make a conscious effort to eat more fruits and vegetables. I want to eat fish once every two weeks. Last year I did a goal of making it once a week and it, I didn't do it. So I think maybe if I do it once every two weeks, I may accomplish it. So that's what we're going to do this year or try for. I want to eat dinner at home at least five times a week. That saves us money and then we eat healthier I want to reduce my sugar intake, which I started last year, and it's down considerably, but I want to continue on that path. Um, I want to pack my lunches whenever possible, because if I pack my lunches, I'm eating healthier because it's from my house instead of stopping for something quick and greasy or uh, full of calories out and about. That's good every once in a while, but I don't want to do it daily. Um, I want to exercise or go to the gym two times a week. Now, last year I wrote three times a week and it worked good until March. And once I hit March, I fell off the wagon it's just because I got busy with life and other things. So I'm gonna shoot for two times a week and try to get a daily step count of 10,000 steps a day. So if I do those things, it's good. Um, as we get older, we tend to not exercise as much and, and it's an Exercise is an important part of staying healthy. Um, I want to plan our meals at home. That um, would help if I had budget on here or uh, financial goal, then that would be part of that too. But it's definitely part of my health goals because if I plan our meals, um, we spend less and we eat healthier. And I want to make sure I take my supplements. Um, I'm actually working on something different with my supplements. I have several that I take and I'm wondering if some of them maybe aren't reacting or I'm not reacting to them as well as I should. So I've decided to just start with a couple and see how my body reacts and add to that every day. And I actually left a few lines just in case in the next few days I find something that I want to add to my health goals. I can write them down because health is important to me. Without health, you really don't have much else um, because you're miserable. Um, if you're not healthy, you're thinking about it all the time. Um, when you're healthy, you can just go about your life and do other things. And my dog's talking in the background, so let me let him out. In my next category is the home category. And I wanted to clutter my home. My home is not a, an awful mess, but it's not, it doesn't look as, it's not where I want it to be. There's things that I could get rid of and I want to do that and I've, I've studied done did that last year and I want to do it this year but I want to take it a little further by saying I'm going to get rid of one bag of whatever one bag size of whatever every month so that way I know that 
monthly I'm decluttering or doing something in the house. And I also want to make a project list. So what I mean by a project list is, um, example, I need to touch up paint some spots in the kitchen. I need to touch up paint a baseboard. I need to caulk around the bottom of the toilet. Some of those items may not be for me. Maybe I need to get my husband to do them, but I'm going to put them on my list because I want them done. Um, I may want to write on there, I want to dust the top of the wall unit though that should be done all the time, you know it's something that doesn't happen very often, or dust the very top of the cabinets. So that's going. all those things are gonna go on a project list that I'm going to make, and I'm gonna shoot for one project a month. I definitely wanna do more than one project a month, but if I put it on my list and shoot for at least one, then if a month goes by and all I get done is one, then I am happy, because there are several months that I get too busy and do don't, aren't able to do any of the projects. Um, something else, for example, on the project list is change out a fixture in the bathroom or um, declutter a closet or reorganize a closet would be better because decluttering is the other one. But that's my, the second item on my home list and um, I'm sorry, on my home personal goals or resolutions and then I want to redo that list monthly. So I wanna go through my list every month and make sure that it's on track and that if I need to add something to it, I will. Um, the next section um, or box of resolutions is my spiritual resolutions. And I wanna read through the Bible. Um, I'm doing the Bible recap. I actually started before the end of the year. I really enjoy the Bible recap because um, I can listen to it on my Bible app online um, because I don't have as much time to sit down and read. So listening to it while I'm in the car works well. So I can listen to that and then I can go to YouTube and search for the Bible recap for that number day and listen um, uh, the recap for the actual Bible verses that I just heard. So that it's been great. Uh, many days I listen to more than one a day. Uh, which puts me ahead and some days I don't listen to it at all. So that's something I want to do. Um, I read through the Bible before um, and I don't think it hurts to read through the Bible all the time. But this really works because the devotional afterwards um, that Tara Lee Cobble does on the recap really explains some of the stuff you read or hear um, in the Bible verses assigned for each day. And, and that's something you can start any day of the week or year. If you go to your Bible app, um, search plans and go to um, the Bible recap. And you can actually start your day one will be whatever day you start there and go from there. It works really great. I want to pray more. Um, I want to go to God with more. Um, it's important to me that I talk to him all the time and that I ask him for guidance all the time and that I, I seek him all the time. So I, that's on my spiritual list. Um, I also want to um, find more time to and express gratitude. Uh, I think when we are grateful, it's very hard to complain and I want to complain less. So to combat that and I, I feel I can be grateful. Unfortunately, complaining is something that is contagious. If you complain and you're around complaining people, you tend to complain more. So I wanna be grateful and maybe the people around me will be more grateful as well. But as long as I am, I know I will feel better. And I wanna refocus. And that looks a little vague, but I wanna make sure that I think about what my focus is every day and stick to it. And then my last one is hobbies. And I want to vlog and I want to plan for it and post. I did a good job of that at the beginning of last year and then I got busy and didn't do more of it the rest of the year, but that's something that I want to work on. So these are my goals, personal goals and resolutions for 2024. And I will come back mid-year and show you where I'm at. And at the end of the year, hopefully I'll show you how far I've gotten. That's what I did last year and I, I, it worked out pretty good. I want to try to do that again. Um, what are your personal goals or what have you 
decided to work on this year, if any. Um, let me know in the comments. I, I'd love to chat with you about it. These other planners I pulled out because I want to use them. The daily planner, this works pretty good as a list that you can work on and throw away at the end of the day. And this is just an Amazon find. This calendar I like because you don't have to actually have a, a pre-printed yearly calendar. You can write it up yourself. It just goes Monday through Sunday, gives you checklists and notes. So I pulled this out. I've had it for, for a couple years. I like it. I'm going to um, try using this on my desk. So that's why these are out. And that's it. That's my goals and resolutions for 2024. Just a quick little video to tell you what I'm going to work on. I'm, I am excited about working on these things and I look forward to bettering myself uh, with these things. We have a, a greater chance of getting what we want done if we write it down and we look at it and follow through. So that's why I write it down because I want to actually make it things happen. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I hope you hit the like button and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.